Hey Jules, this is Shantae. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you had um, an amazing and wonderful holiday. I hope you guys got a chance to spend some time with your family, whether it was in person, whether it was via Zoom, and whatever fashion, I hope you got a chance to bond with your family and have a wonderful holiday season. Um, in today's video, I wanted to share with you how I will be doing my layout for January 2021. Yes, you guys, we are approaching January 2021. I do want to say I'm so grateful to God for even allowing me to make it to this day. Um, this 2020 has been somewhat of a year, um, as you guys know, with COVID. Many people um, are not here today, but I'm truly, truly grateful to God that he saw fit to allow me to still be here. He's continued to bless my family, and I'm so grateful for that. And I hope that you guys are watching. I hope that your family has been covered um, and protected as well. So like I said, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me or uh, a decorate with me in my monthly spread. I haven't done one of these videos in a really long time. I'm usually pre-planning, so most of the times I have already like <laughs> written on my monthlies before the month ever gets there, um, but I'm going to try to do a different system. I used to use post-it notes, but I got tired of that, so I'm not sure. Um, I did start kind of writing on just a sheet of paper and paper clipping that to my month. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to do that. Um, it's worked out a little bit. I was trying to see if I still had it in here. Yeah, so like for this, because I was getting ready for January, I just went on ahead and started writing the dates down just in case I had something coming up um, and I knew I wanted to film this plan with me uh, or this decorate with me for January. Just in case I had something coming up, um, I could quickly look at that and remind myself if I was available or not for another um event or meeting or whatever so in today's video i am going to be using i wanted something kind of sparkly but i don't have any gold um washi so i'm going to use this silver washi and then i'm just going to um, add accents of gold i love metallics even in my home i will use like golds and um silvers and just add them together and then I'm also going to be using my little slice tool. And then I'm just using this basically for um, the edge so I can cut my washi tape. And also, you guys, I'm going to be using these stickers here. I forgot whose video I was watching. I think it might be Southern Tea, Time, Tea Times um, video that she went on and put her stickers on a sheet of paper so she wouldn't have to flip through the um, sticker books. And I am famous <laughs> for flipping through my sticker books. So I did, I am going to try this out and I think I'm gonna like it. So I went through and just kind of picked out the stickers that I wanted. As you guys can see, my layout is not super big. So I can't put a lot of things on here, but I want it to look pretty, but I thought that was super cool. And I'll show you guys how I, or where I got those pieces of paper from. And then as far as the sticker books, I've really been trying to get back to my Happy Planner books because I just have a ton of the books. Um, so I'm using this seasonal Happy Planner book, which was the Wrong Wrong collaboration. And then I am also using the um, the accessory pack. I really like this and I forgot how much I liked it. So I'm glad I picked this one up. And then you guys, if you wanna know what this sheet of paper is, you can use anything. You can use old um, sticker books um, to put the sticker back on, but I just thought these were cute. I picked these up from Dollar Tree. You guys know I love Dollar Tree. And I picked these up and I got like two packs. Lord knows I'm not gonna <laughs> eat a thousand or a hundred hamburgers anytime soon. So I was like, hmm, I could take one of those packages and use them for my stickers. Now, granted, you can use this over again for your next plan with me, but just in case I'm going to keep these in my office, if I want to keep, you know, using these over or for something else. So yeah, a Dollar Tree, you get a hundred or at Dollar Tree and you get a hundred of these. So check them out. And, um, for my everyday carry, um, for the monthly layout, I'm using the Notique um inserts i'll let you guys see how so it says 2021 i do love that logo 
And then um, this also says January, 2021. Here's your monthly view. Um, it does come with important dates to remember for the month, um, notes, and then a little calendar section for the next month. And then you also get this kind of monthly brief with key dates on the back, goals and tasks. And then you also get a portion if you wanna write in um, bills to pay. And I may, I don't know, I, I, I'm coming up with like my business social media planner. So um, I don't know, I may quickly put things here as far as, you know, if I had to buy something, um, but I don't know if I will be utilizing this or not, or if I will change it up. So, um, if you are inter, oh, one more thing, you guys, I wanted to show you, um, if you have not, um, seen my previous doll, one of my previous Dollar Tree hauls, I've done two recently, check them out. Um, but I showed you guys this, um, pocket here. And as you can see, it looks super, super cute in my planner. The pocket is facing this way. It was a little long to face up way, so, or upwards. So I faced it this way and I still like it. I can still use it as a pocket. Um, I thought this was pretty cool. It does have an, an adhesive backing and you can set paper, paper clips, um, anything you want to put in here. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys again what this is. So this is designed for your cell phone and here's the back. So it has a completely um, adhesive back or a complete adhesive back. And then there's just your little pocket in here. So like I said, these are designed for cell phones. But when I saw this in the Dollar Tree, it reminded me of those clear pockets that we all were excited about. Um, I'm still excited about, <laughs> obviously, because I picked up one of these. But I just think that looks so cute in my planner. Um, as I'm looking at this now, I could even put one of these on my dashboards if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in that, go pick up one. So you guys, I'm going to get right into planning my layout for the month of January. I can't believe we are almost to 2021. Um, but I will come back at the end of this and talk to you guys about it. Stay tuned.
all right you guys here is how my monthly layout for january 2021 came out i am very pleased with how it came out um i was going for more of the bling silver kind of look however that washi tape um that's probably why i it was a, still a full roll as i was starting to roll it off you could tell that some spaces were like thin um it was kind of tacky and sticky on the top portion and then things were sticking to it so I was like, no, nope. I just threw the whole roll away and I got up and got another roll. So I ended up just getting this simple washi tape with the cute little gold bows. It kind of more fit my theme, but I did want to mix up um, the metallics um, in my spread. But oh, well, it worked out anyway. And so since this is the beginning of the year, I definitely wanted to put stickers in there notating when New Year's Day was. Welcome to the new year. Things that I really want to become or that I want to be part of me in this year. Hustle your heart out, um, celebrate, reading books, wear my heels, dream big, work hard, all those things. Um, and I love this sticker. It says glitter is always an option. And then my boss babe. So everything that I think about, I mean, there are other things that I think about, but I can only put so many stickers on here. But from those sticker books, everything that I thought about, I grabbed those stickers. And I must say, you guys, I really do like the paper so this is pretty cool and yes i'm gonna go ahead and use this until i can't use it anymore and i'll have tons and tons and tons left or if i'll have it in here if i have a, a layout where i need more stickers i can definitely pull another sheet out but yeah i'm gonna um, show you guys these again if you didn't catch it at the beginning it is called these patty square um uh, patty paper squares and they are from dollar tree and you do get a hundred real simple and easy it's just parchment paper you guys but i like it that it's cut down and i don't have to worry about cutting it down myself so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you found some inspiration from my layout um and how i decorate and remember make planning meaningful to you so whether you are a functional planner, whether you are more of a decorative planner, or if you're like me, where you put those two things together, make it meaningful for you so you can accomplish your goals and accomplish the things that you set out to do. That's what's most important. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you have not already liked the video, go ahead and just click that button. Go ahead and like the video. And also, I, I hope you consider subscribing and joining my wonderful family. I am posting videos every Monday and Saturday, so please stay tuned for my next video. I hope you guys have an amazing and awesome day. Until the next video, bye.